Right, good evening, welcome back to my little channel. Tonight I've come out to photograph uh, what is a really popular subject. The composition is often done by a lot of people and tonight I'm going to do that composition but in the dark because I've never seen anyone else do a photograph of it in the dark. I'm a big believer in looking at what everyone else is doing and then doing something completely different and I love night time landscape photography it's even better if I can combine that with a bit of astrophotography unfortunately tonight it's completely cloudy but it is completely still and um, because it's a tree obviously it's winter there's no leaves on it but any slight breeze and all the branches flap around so it makes for uh, a blurry image there's no wind tonight so hopefully we'll get a crisp sharp image right so i am all set up here i just shine my light we've got the torch shining on the tree there so you can see that in the background the camera is all set up ready to go and just get that focused right i'm using a 20 second timer so what i'm going to do is shine torch on the tree, focus, get the timer going then I'm going to run off and light paint the steps that run in front of the tree so let's get that going come on, focus there we go right, waiting for the self timer to finish I use 20 seconds because it gives me time to get in position to do my light painting and that's done just ran the torch down the steps Ooh. go behind you there we go wait for this to uh, do its business chug 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 using a 30 second exposure luckily it's really still tonight not a breath of wind so that's really good wait for the noise reduction to finish put my glasses back on so i can see come on hurry up have a quick look at that that looks really good, so I'm happy with that. Well, I think I'm done here for tonight. I will have a wander around and see if I can find any other compositions. But if I can't find any down here, then I'll probably head down the beach and photograph a tree down there I've been wanting to get for a long time if the wind stays as calm as it is now This tree here is my second location for tonight, obviously down at the beach. Um, when I got here I wondered if I'd messed up completely because the tide seemed to be out a bit further than I uh, thought it was going to be. Hopefully the tide will come in, go up there a fair way, so all of this should be surrounded by water. And I've been after a shot here for a long time and tonight is absolutely perfect, the tide should be in the right place. There's no wind, so there should be, shouldn't be any movement in the trees. I think the tide's in about as far as it's going to be now. So I'm going to do a photo of this tree. I'm up on a little ledge here looking down on it. And uh, I've got more water in the shot doing that. So I'm going to use my torch to focus on the tree. Again, focus. Gonna turn this torch off. Gonna get this going because we've got the 20 second timer on. 
then I'm going to turn off the light that I'm using to illuminate me at the moment and then I'm going to do some light painting on the tree. So let's do that. So I'm going to turn this light off. And that should be done in a minute when that suddenly clicks after its exposure. There we go, done. Well, I've had an absolutely brilliant night tonight taking photographs of these two trees that have done. Both of these trees are popular subjects, popular compositions. They're normally photographed at sunrise or at sunset in the summer when there's leaves on the trees. So what I've tried to do tonight is completely different to what everyone else has done and hopefully create some unique photographs of some popular locations. Obviously I don't know that yet because I've got to go home and edit these photographs but you'll already have seen them in this video. So thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye!